right, I've marked up my piece of plywood for making these T pieces that I'm going to put on the end of the chassis to actually mount the axles. Um, so I don't like giving dimensions because people want to copy them and then if they're not exactly right they'll be upset. But basically the T piece has got to fit be a snug fit in the back of the um, conduit, plastic conduit. The conduit I've measured, the inside top to bottom is three quarters of an inch. Uh, no idea what that is in millimetres. I suppose I could have a look. But um, so what I've drawn down here, probably can't make it out, but that's a, a T piece there quarters of an inch across the middle there um, so it's one and a half inches across the wider bit. I'll cut that T piece out and there's another T piece below it and then I need a couple more pieces to actually stick on there to make it the right width to go across there. If we Look at these ones I did before. You can see it's a T shape. It's only half the width, and then there's a other bit on there, and then I've even shaped it a little bit so it fits snugly inside the tube. If you see this bit of cardboard, I've also a cardboard a bit of plywood. I've also marked out some larger T pieces. I intend to use this thicker bit of dowel for one of my axles. And if you remember at the beginning of the video, I showed that piece of dowel is exactly the width of the inside of a CD. So I'm going to try that out as well. So I'll cut these out in a minute and then glue them together and then try them out. Before I actually cut the T pieces out, you'll see I've actually drilled the holes. Um, that's quite simply because it's easier to get hold of a piece of wood and drill a hole through it when it's a nice big piece of wood. When you've got smaller pieces, then you have more trouble with it spinning around when you're trying to drill the holes. So I've drilled the holes. Um, that's the smaller axle. ready for the bigger axle. So I shall cut those out. It's actually reasonably soft plywood. I can do most of the cutting with um, a knife. So I might do that first and then saw the last little bits. Right, let's cut the bits out. I shall glue them together. And then uh, trim them so they fit nicely in there. Alright, just glue them together. Right, I'm off to go and have a cup of coffee. Right, glue's dry. So what I should do now 
is use a sharp knife and a bit of sandpaper and shape these so that they'll fit inside there. Right, there we are after a few moments with a bit of sandpaper. Got nice round edges all the way around. So that'll now slide in there like that. Okay, now for the next stage. For the first car, I think I'll do one with CDs for wheels. And I'll use this piece of dowel as the axle. So I'm just going to go through there. So we need to mark it up. Let's say allow for the hot glue on either side of the CD. I'll give it about, what's that, about half an inch on either side. So I shall cut that. the rubber band something to grip on. I shall drill a little hole in there and put little pegs sticking out. I've just decided that I want to make a couple of little spacers to go on the outside so that when the CD is on there it doesn't rub against the side of the chassis. So I've found a plastic top and I'm just in the process of cutting around it cut a couple of uh, washers, I suppose you'd call them, or certainly spacers I can put on there just to space the CDs out so they don't rub on the side. Right, so that's the idea, those just sit on the outside and then the CD sits outside that so that it doesn't rub against the side of the chassis. I shall now glue a couple of CDs on. I'm waiting for the hot glue gun to warm up. I'll just drill that hole in the middle for the peg. Through. Probably only need the peg on one side anyway. So that should do. And it doesn't need to be very long either. Okay, so that's for the rubber band to hook onto. Good idea to do that while we can still take these off. Paper around the edge. 
pull down. Okay, we'll now do the front axle. I've got a, a video of how to put these milk bottle tops onto the CD, so I'll actually put that in into the final edit rather than doing it now. Here's me a bit of cane, garden cane. Needs to be wide enough to go through there, wide enough to go through there, so give it a little bit extra. To help it to slide through the holes, I always just trim the ends a little bit. So it goes on there. basic car. All we need is some rubber bands and away we can go. Next I thought I'd do a quick video on how to make the CD hubs out of plastic bottle tops. These particular ones have got a handy little mark in the middle so you can find the centre easily. Just poke a hole through. the actual wooden skewer I'm going to use as the axle. Just push that through to make sure it fits. Nice tight fit. Get the hot glue gun out. bead of hot glue all the way around the edge of the bottle top. Have to work fairly quickly to keep it hot. And push it onto the CD and align it so you've got an equal gap all the way around it. Turn it over and do the other one. times for the four CDs. 